welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome week. I apologize for the lack of the videos. I've been super busy with just about everything else in my life and uh, picking up a bunch of extra hours at work and uh, still just kind of taking care of all the animals. They have not been neglected at all, but just been long hours and long days. And so I'll try to get some more videos out for you guys on the snakes. Uh, if you guys do YouTube or if you guys have tried to do YouTube, you know it is very time consuming on uh, just how everything works with it. But I'm really thinking about uh, moving one of my ball pythons into the ARS rack. So this is a 7030 rack and it's done very well for my boas and very well for the bull pythons. I do have some humidity issue. You guys know this from past videos. Um, I've been told by multiple people that you just have to basically spray your um, bedding down daily, which is very aggravating because, well, that, well, it, that's for another time, I guess. But essentially, it has the water dish. This should have the correct ventilation with the proper bedding. Um, you really should not have issues, I believe, in a rack system, but I do. So I do use RepiChip, I've used Aspen, I've used other stuff, and all of these companies claim that uh, it's low maintenance bedding and um, it does not lose humidity, but the truth is they all do. So if I have to spray this stuff down, um, I mean, I, I'm in here every day anyways, it, doesn't take that long to spray it down. I only have one rack system now. If I had a hundred, then I should then that then I I should really be complaining about it. But if I only have one, um, you know, it's just an extra ten minutes while I'm looking for poop or putting more water in there and just making sure the snakes are healthy and alive and don't have any issues. So hopefully you guys are having a good week and enjoying some stuff with your animals and I'm just using the rest of this Repti chip that I have out. One of the problems that I did have with this bag is it had some holes in it so when I'm filling it up with water all the water leaked out at the bottom so it just kind of made it a little more difficult for this stuff to expand. I did see on their website which I'm kind of excited about. Um, they just put Repti Chip in a huge cardboard box and seal it up and then they ship it to you. So it's not compacted into these airtight baggies. You just open up the cardboard and it's already, I mean, you probably would have to wet it just to get the moisture in there. Um, but you don't have to break any of it apart, which is awesome. And it doesn't cost any more. Um, I know at, when you go to shows, um, I can usually find a brick of Repti Chip for 20 bucks. It's like 30 on their website, and it's 30 on Amazon as well. Uh, I really don't understand why it's more on their website than it is at uh, vendors, but I guess that's the pricing that the vendors are uh, trying to uh, trying to get out of it. But this stuff is pretty soaked right now, and I do have the water in the water dish. This is kind of and eh, that's not too bad on the uh, on the repti chip so the repti chip does get pretty nasty the one thing that i will tell you guys and i wish i did before i started anything with snakes at all was to uh not use carpet because carpet sucks and bedding goes everywhere if you take a snake out it's gonna it's gonna take bedding with with you or with the snake and um so hardwood would be the way to go if I was to do anything over again, I would have put hardwood down in the bedroom because vacuuming in, vacuuming in here every other day, it's just another, it's just another thing to waste time when I could be spending with the snakes, but that's life. So um, I do have a shout back, so it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you guys know that most of the ball pythons are still pretty small that are outside of the ARS rack. I do have two, actually I have three 2021s that are in the ARS rack and they're doing phenomenal. They're eating perfectly. They're shedding very well. They don't seem stressed out. 
So we're going to upgrade the Fire Enchi uh, Clown. And this girl right here is gorgeous. Very excited for her for next year. Um, hopefully she's on the right path for breeding. I know there's a bunch of uh, different topics and uh, you know a lot of talk about when is appropriate size for breeding. Um, I personally know people that breed at a thousand, twelve hundred. Some people are telling me eighteen hundred or nineteen hundred. Um, obviously, the bigger the animal, the more eggs you'll get. Maybe the healthier the eggs. But I think if you crack the thousand grams, uh, I think I think that would be a healthy weight personally. If they lose a couple hundred grams after they give birth. Uh, it, it's not like they can't bounce back from 900 grams or a thousand, but I have 2020s that are at over 600 grams. So going into next year, I really think they're going to break over that thousand, 1100 mark. If, if big, if with ball pythons, if they keep eating, if they stay on schedule. So we're going to put this girl in here and this girl looks very, very good on refuge trip. I will say I do love that about Refty Chip. It makes the colors pop on these animals. And they look very, very nice. So we have the extra hide. I don't use a lot of hides for the boas. The boas don't seem to get stressed out in their enclosures uh, like ball pythons would. And quite frankly, it's a low enough ceiling uh, that this is basically just a huge hide anyways. And that's how I feel about it. So now we have an empty, uh, an empty container. So this could be a holding container uh, for if I'm cleaning the snake's cage out, or just an extra container when I buy a new snake. Which is, you never know. You never know when when, when you find something you want on Mork Market, or if you got breeders nearby and you want something. It's always good to have an extra empty uh, tub laying around for. All of our snake needs so we're gonna get you off the tripod and let's check out some of the snakes I, I've been in here the last couple of days doing a lot of cleaning and we all know snakes poop all my snakes are on kind of different schedules they're all different sizes they all have different bowel movements so you guys are probably gonna see some poop but uh, that's just the way life is Mountain Dew right here I'm very excited about her she just went into blue. She was in deep blue about two days ago. She's kind of coming out of it right now. You can see her eyes are a little glossed over. So here in the next probably five to seven days, she's going to shed out. And the other anaconda is in the back. And she made a huge mess. So I have to clean her cage out, or her water at least. And then I'll uh, ruff, ruffle through some of the mulch in here and I'll see if there's any poop in there as well. So she is just on basic yard mulch. I love it. It's a hundred percent cypress, no issues, great humidity. Uh, so far she's been in there for, I mean, she's had, I mean, I've cleaned it out, but she's been on this type of bedding or yard mulch for two years and I don't have any issues at all. I got the berm on it and then I have uh, Mountain Dew on there as well so just kind of cleaning stuff out and we move and then so we have three just random totes here that I'll probably stack up here and then I moved over here made this just a little bit easier so this is a homemade piece of crap one which was like 60 bucks and then in here we have uh, one of the mystic potions the female and the black pastel is in shed, so it's exciting. She's growing. And I just love how high white this girl is. You can see her eyes are a little foggy, so uh, she'll shed out here in the next couple days. And let's check out some of the... Boas. So I'll show you guys her on the Repti Chip. 
She's going in her hide right now, so I gotta clean clean her hide off. Like, look at that. Look how bright she is on the uh, the Repti chip. I love it. That's why I really like the Repti chip. I mean, it's definitely worth it's definitely worth the money just for that. And then we got the VPI jungle. This is the female. And the VPI Aztec, which she is. As we know, she's okay. We're, we're still dealing with some stuff with her. And then in here I added some Repti chip for her because she was kind of having some issues with uh, the lack of humidity. So Orange Dream, Enchi, Leopard, and Pied on the ball python. This dude, so it's a guy, probably called her a female on accident. I have quite a few females. So I only have two like true-ish VPIs and then I do have the VPI um, IMG so kind of a unique mixture a lot of uh, I think a lot of people do like them I think a lot of people kind of are in the mix because it, it is kind of a a brightish darkish mixture on uh, both of them so and then the other IMG hypo Jungle Motley Het for Snow, and she is on wrap ups. She took a wrap up very well. I might bump her up onto the uh, weans because she does need to grow just a little bit. She's a 2020, very, very early 2020. So she is a little small for her age. And then I'll just try to get her a little plumped up here in the next over winter and, and see what happens. So that is really it. You want to see the Guyana? It's a little dark up here. But that's it, guys. I uh, appreciate the support on the channel. And I really appreciate you guys coming back for more of the videos. Um, so I'll try to give you guys, you know, just a look at a little bit of everybody in the room. And then kind of just a uh, little different stuff here and there. Uh, and then let you guys kind of the life of owning snakes and owning 40 snakes. Uh, I know a lot of you guys do own way more than that, so you guys know, you know the struggle about cleaning, feeding, maintenance, and I don't know if you guys handle your snakes a lot. I try to handle my snakes daily. Um, the bigger snakes, the bigger boas, the anacondas, and the berms, I do try to handle them as much as I can so we don't have any issues in the future. Uh, so that's just my train of thought on that. But hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Try to knock out another video for you guys tomorrow on some of the bigger snakes if you guys would like. And on that, see you guys on the next one.